four. Uh, we just got done with our CSM uh, interview, with my CSM interview, and I uh, hope that a lot of you will vote for me for CSM as I am uh, running again. You can check out that interview on the CCP uh, Twitch stream uh, and possibly also on, uh, on YouTube later. Talking about the market, uh, let's start at usual, as usual with uh, Plex and Plex adjacent uh, items. So Plex, uh, it's, it's not coming, coming down. Um, you know, very, very slightly, but still in, in very low supply. There's a current 20% sale plus some skin going on in the New Eden store. But uh, it's uh, as the past Plex sales have not been able to, uh, again, this time it's not coming down uh, much at all. If we're looking at the, the sale price of um, Plex and Jita, it really starts at like 5.62 million. And that is just very, very expensive. Um, looking at skill extractors, uh, we haven't seen, uh, you know, a little bit of a downturn, but not much at all. And looking at large skill injectors, they're actually uh, rising slightly, but also not changing much. And that means that if we, uh, as usual, look at our skill farming uh, profit, what we see there is a negative 365 million per skill farming account. And so that... Uh, if you're subscribing for 12 month uh, Plex, uh, as I, uh, um, you know, always keep that formula constant uh, on 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 the stream and in this report. So this is low. This is not great. Uh, and so uh, what that means is that typically, when skill farming profit isn't that great in the long run, you're going to see rising large skill injector prices. Still, I don't think we're there yet. I think they still have some time uh, to go down. We discussed earlier on stream that possibly the uptick now might have to do something with the Halloween Halloween uh, event that is going on right now, which, by the way, means 90% uh, loot drop from PVPs uh, all month. So uh, watch out there. Now, um, jumping back into our uh, Oz Report dashboard here. Um, if we look at what's trending up this week, uh, some things uh, immediately jump in. If we look at uh, battleships, Kronos, uh, Slepnir, uh, Gnosis, a lot of this has to do with the event and uh, the ships that people are uh, likely to fly, either ganking other players because of the 90% uh, PvP drop or um, in the event sites that are uh, going on. What you are seeing, uh, for example, uh, in the trending down area is uh, something very interesting, and that is Fortisars are gone from Jita. So um, possibly has something to do with the fact that uh, the goons are actually, after many, many, many years, leaving Delve and uh, moving into Tenerife, and uh, they uh, might have preemptively bought out all of the Fortisars from the market. Uh, they are all gone. 100% uh, supply drop and 100% price drop to zero. So if you have Fortisars, if you're building Fortisars or you have them laying around right now, it's probably a very, very good time to sell them at a very expensive price because you're not competing with a lot in Jita. Another thing trending down that we see is the agency boosters that are dropping from the event sites. We are seeing um, a lot fewer events nowadays. So uh, that means that agency boosters are much less available than they used to be. And they're very, very popular. When we have an event coming out, especially like the, the long event uh, that we are seeing right now, then uh, some of these start dropping in price and specifically, you know, uh, Hard Shell 4s, Paralensia 3s, these are some of the highest trade volumes and boosters out there. So they've dropped by 20 to, to, to 36% here. Also, Agency Paralensia 4s dropped uh, 16%. The, the raw moon material drop that we saw last week, the moon crash has slowed significantly. So that was uh, that is almost flat. That's not to say that some are still dropping. So if you're looking, looking at cadmium, for example, that still is dropping 16%. Some of the advanced moon materials like hypersynaptic fibers or phenolic composites, they are dropping uh, as well. So, uh, you know, it was slowed, but not uh, completely stopped. 
if we are looking at high trade volume, still hypercores are in on everyone's mind, obviously, because the, and let's jump in back into the game client for this hypercores. Uh, we saw a massive two for one sale in March. That meant prices uh, below 300k for a uh, a a, a hypercore that used to be 500 plus because it uh, orients itself directly on the plex price. It, it, the price rose back to f almost 450k until there was another two for one sale. Uh, again, it dropped below 300, and now we are stuck at around 300,000. You can see that the people taking advantage of the sale was much larger than last time because people were prepared. So expect this time around. For this to take a lot longer to recover obviously we also uh, we also have the fantastic change um, driven by the csm of course to remove uh, chatter to remove a spam from chat especially jita chat so now you can actually filter out hypernet bots and hypernet um, uh, spammers from jita chat which is going to make it more difficult for people to um to scam people into using their hypernets but in the end as i said earlier on stream i don't think that is going to be a huge game changer because unfortunately so many people are still making very very questionable economic decisions and playing the hypernet um if you're out there um this is going to be a win-win all right because either you learn your lesson you don't play the hypernet or you uh, do keep playing the hypernet uh, and you're going to make me a lot of money because again of course in this case uh in this case I, even i am jumping on this right because this has nothing to do with nda this this just means there's a sale out there and i'm going to jump on it uh, no matter what uh what what happens because it's a it's an it's an absolute no-brainer all right what else are we seeing if we look at largest supply drops one big thing is uh, ice products so large supply drops in isotopes helium isotopes uh, nitrogen nitrogen isotopes um, down 80 to 90 percent this points towards large move ups uh, and that means uh, obviously goons moving out of delft they're going to need a lot of isotopes for that uh, fuel blocks along with it fuel blocks uh, are used in not only for metanox moon drills which are very hot right now but also in tier 2 production which uh, last week got a patch reducing uh, some of the production costs. So uh, all in all, lots of pressure on ice products. Overall, if we look at the dashboard here, ice products up 15%, which is massive, 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 right? Um, and beyond that, if we look at the most underpriced, um, there's no surprises here. Uh, and none of these indicate a, a huge buy signal. Uh, you know, gas was basically completely taken out of um, out of a lot of blueprints, so there's no so no demand left. That's why that is out there. Um, all the moon materials are uh, in oversupply because of Metanox moon drills. The hypercores are uh, underpriced because of the two for one sale, which you should take advantage of. Um, all of the faction ships here, the Gila, the Nestor, the Stratios. They've all uh, had their gas taken out and that's why they're underpriced. So they also don't count. The only one that is kind of an indicator of a good deal here are power circuits because power circuits, they're used in a lot of uh, rigs and they're always going to be popular. They're currently trading 27% under 52 week average and that could be a buy indicator. So power circuits is the only one that I would jump on right now. Okay, that uh, does it for the uh, Aussie port for October 7th, uh, 2024. Again. Uh, I'd be honored to have your vote for CSM. If you are voting, um, go tell your friends if you want to support what I do. Uh, I would like to have another term on the CSM because I think I've started a lot of good things, but sometimes it takes longer than a year to implement, especially in game design. So would love to get another chance. Stream and I'll see you guys next week.